Hi, this is Athena Starseed, and I am at uh, the Ignite Festival a series called Raising Reverence, and the sun just came up. So I'm actually gonna let you guys in on my solar gazing experience this morning. So I basically look into the sun, and I just say, I love you, one. I love you, two. I love you, three. I love you, four. I love you five, I love you six, I love you seven, I love you eight, I love you nine, I love you ten, eleven, I love you twelve, I love you thirteen, I love you fourteen, I love you fifteen, I love you sixteen, I love you seventeen, I love you eighteen, I love you nineteen, I love you twenty. So that's 20 seconds of solar gazing. I'm actually um, up to about 200 right now. I love you to the sun. But I was just kind of showing you an example. If you look up solar gazing on YouTube, there's um, many lectures on all the powers that the sun can gift you. And uh, it actually improves your eyesight if you do it uh, the hour after the sun gets up, which is right now, or an hour before the sun goes down at sunset. But there's a friend of mine, Kurt, who actually stares at the sun four times a day. He does it at sunrise, at high noon, at sunset, and at midnight. He calls it the dark sun, so he finds a point in the sky the sun would typically be at and he stares into the night and he says these four different invocations to Ra and uh, he's gonna type them up for me today and send them to me on a text and I will be able to read them to you probably starting either tonight or tomorrow but for right now it's just just like oh my god the sun is amazing the sun is amazing. I'm in Joshua Tree. I'm at Ignite. And uh, these are just some of the things that we do to raise reverence, to increase the vibrational energy coming off of the body. So for tomorrow, those of you who haven't done it, if you want to wake up really early, find out what time sunrise is, and then stare right into the sun and count for 10 seconds and give the sun 10 I love yous. give your soul that inner silence. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> There's something that happens to you when you start getting in tune and in harmony with nature. The synchronicities and the flows of life start to become more apparent and your thoughts start to become things easily and effortlessly. For example, last week I was at the Earth Shift Conference in Desert um, Hot Springs and I had said, wow, I really would like to go back to the desert. And then magically the very next, uh, the very next Day, one of my friends called me and said there's a festival called Ignite at Joshua Tree. So um, I've been working with an incredible person named Ken Schwanker and he does uh, an amazing festival called One Love and um, it's really about bringing people together around music and consciousness and the evolution and the elevation of the human spirit and consciousness. And so I actually got gifted a ticket to come here so that I could promote for One Love. So Kenneth sponsored my ticket. Thank you so much, Kenneth. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And so now I'm actually getting paid to go out on location to these incredible festivals 
and promote an incredible event um, that really helps other people see themselves as one. Because if we're all one part of the body of God, then two feet wouldn't kick themselves or fight, or two arms don't have to <laughs> arm wrestle. Basically, the body, the body of God and the union of God and the union of people on, on the body of earth in harmony, in one love, with their heart chakras open, could get along, you know? And so I believe that war um, is an outpicturing of, of an internal conflict that hasn't been resolved, man versus himself. And so my solution to that war is to be in harmony with yourself. And that starts with the cells of your body and it uh, spirals out to your diet and your lifestyle and your thoughts and your emotions and your actions. And how you treat others is how you treat yourself. And how you treat yourself is how you treat nature. And so to be at one with nature and to be in tune with nature is the expression of harmony. And these are the messages that I get from the sun. And so this is how I tune in and tune up my instrument. This is my instrument. This is my Stradivarius. If I'm gonna play um, God's symphony through this body and this mind and this heart and this throat chakra to sing, then uh, I'm gonna tune up to the sun in the morning because the sun is, is the closest thing to God's light, really. And we're made of light, and we come from light, and we return back to light. And, um, and when we're here on Earth, we're here to share our light with the other omnipresent many me's. 7.5 billion of us, and counting, dot, dot, dot. Little babies are being born every second. Welcome to the Earth. Um, so I just want to inspire you today to go out and do something in harmony with nature so that you can tune yourself up. So if you miss the sunrise, go out and touch a tree or, or put your feet in the earth or walk by the ocean. Hear that little bird? <laughs> or go outside and listen to the bird song. And remember that you are love and it's all about love and when we return to one love one love one heart one mind one race all brothers and sisters on one earth ship one planet spinning through this incredible galactic Milky Way eternally into infinity remembering that we are divinity this is Athena Starseed this is raising reverence Stay tuned.